Hello, this is functions lesson one. In this, I will discuss the basics of functions with example. Now, first of all, what is a function? A function is like a machine in which each and every input gives a single output. Now, I am saying that like this. This is now is this a function? One is one is the input output is five. Two is the input output is six. That's how the uh, input and code domain are related. This example I am taking. Now is this a function? No, this is not a function. This is not a function because I told you that the definition of function is that each and every input should have a exactly one output or single output. In this case, the three input does not have any output, so this is not a function. So I am giving some example just to tell you which of the following are function, which of the following are not function. Second example I am taking input set or domain set is 1, 2 and 3, core domain set is 4 and 5. Now is this a function? Yes, this is a function. You can see that each and every input have one output. 2 has one output 5, input 3 has also one output 5. Each and every input should have a single output that is what the definition of function says that. And uh, this example 2 satisfies the condition of function. So this is a function. Now domain of this function would be domain or you can say the input input range would be 1 2 and 3 that is domain of this function 1 2 and 3 core domain would be your 4 and 5 range range is the output output also is this 4 and 5 so you must know what is the domain domain core domain and range now third example is input or domain set is this 1 2 3 4 5 Core domain set is A, B, C and D. It means that in a function you are putting 1 as an input, the function is giving you output as A. 2 is the input, output is A. 3 is the input, output is B. Now is this a function? Yes, this is a function because the function definition only says that each and every input should have a single output. In our case, each and every input have a single output. So can I say that input set or domain set domain of this D for stand for domain domain of this function would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 that would be domain of this function core domain COD stand for core domain core domain set would be A, B, C and D range range means output output are only A, B and C because the function inputs are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and function output are A, B and C. Because A, B and C are the values in core domain set that are connected with some input values or that are related with some input values. So these are the range or output. Range or output is the same thing. D uh, is the value in the core domain which is not connected to any input. So that will not come in the range. So now I think you understand the meaning of domain, core domain and range. Now fourth example is input or domain set is 1, 2, 3, 4, core domain is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now is this a function? First of all, this is not a function. This is not a function. This is not a function. You can why the reason? Because input 1, you can see that input 1 has two outputs. Input 1 has two outputs so this is not a function i told you the basic definition of function the basic definition of function says that each and every input you can see that the basic definition each and every input gives single output whereas in this case the input one gives two output five and six which is not valid as per the definition of function so this uh, the graph does not represent a function. So first question will come like this. Few graphs will be given to you. You need, you need to tell which of them are function, which of them are not function. Next is types of function. Function can be into or onto functions. When each element of core domain is connected with some one or more elements of domain, then it is called onto function. Otherwise, it's a into function. Now we will tell one by one, four example I have taken. First example you can see that uh, outputs, the element C in the core domain is not connected with any input. So this is an into function. 
एग्जाम्पल टू फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट वन टू थ्री फोर नाउ यू कैन सी दैट दिस एलिमेंट सेवन इन कोर डोमेन दिस एलिमेंट सेवन इज इन कोर डोमेन इज नॉट कनेक्टेड विद एनी एलिमेंट इन द डोमेन सो दिस इज ऑल्सो ए इन टू फंक्शन एग्जाम्पल थ्री नाउ यू कैन सी दैट ईच एंड एवरी एलिमेंट ऑफ कोर डोमेन इज कनेक्टेड विद सम एलिमेंट ऑफ डोमेन दिस इज ओन टू फंक्शन फोर्थ ऑल दो ईच एलिमेंट ऑफ कोर डोमेन इज कनेक्टेड विद सम एलिमेंट ऑफ डोमेन बट बी वेरी केयरफुल फर्स्ट यू नीड टू चेक वेदर द गिवन ग्राफ इज फंक्शन और नॉट दिस इज नॉट ए फंक्शन दिस इज नॉट ए फंक्शन बिकॉज बाय बेसिक डेफिनेशन ऑफ फंक्शन ईच एंड एवरी इनपुट शुड हैव ए सिंगल आउटपुट हेयर द इनपुट टू हैव टू आउटपुट फोर एंड फाइव सो दिस इज नॉट ए फंक्शन फॉर गेट अबाउट इन टू और ऑन टू फर्स्ट थिंग यू नीड टू चेक वेदर द गिवन ग्राफ इज ए फंक्शन और नॉट सो दैट्स यू नीड टू डिफाइन इन टू और ऑन टू फंक्शन ऑन टू फंक्शन सिंपली मीन्स दैट ईच एंड एवरी एलिमेंट ऑफ को डोमेन मस्ट वी मस्ट बी कनेक्टेड विद सम एलिमेंट ऑफ डोमेन another type of function you can define as one one function or many one function by name suggest one one function simply means that one input have one unique output that is a one one function otherwise it's a many one function now you can see that this first one first example uh, input 1 is connected with six output input 2 have one unique output 5 input 3 has its own unique output 7 input 4 has its own unique output that is it so this is One one function. This is a one one function. Now, can you tell it is on to or into? It is a on to function. As I told you, on to function simply means that each and every element of core domain must be connected with domain. This is the domain. This is the core domain. This is domain set. This is core domain set. In this also, this is domain. This is core domain set. This is domain or core domain set. Now, second example. Uh, is this a one one function no you can see that uh, input 1 as well as input 2 both have the same output that is a so this is one not a one one function one one function simply means that each and every input should have its own unique output unique means uh, they can't have a same output here one and two input have a same output a so this is a many one function or uh, by common sense you can see that many to one many input to one output many input to one output many input to one output that is called many one function now can you tell it is on to or into it's a into function you can see that the element d this element d is not connected with some element of domain so this is a into function example 3 you can see that one is connected with 6 2 is connected with 7 3 is connected with 8 4 is connected with 5 9 is empty this is one one function each because uh, each and every input have its own unique output but 1 1 plus into function because 9 is not connected with some element of domain so it's, it's a 1 1 function plus it's a into function now this is many one function because many inputs are connected with one output a and b have one output alpha c and d have one output beta they have a common output so they don't have a unique output so this is many one function many inputs to one output plus on to function because each and every element of core domain is connected with some element of domain now whenever the function is one one on to this is called as bijective function technically this is called as bijective function one one on to is called as bijective function it, in exam it will be given to you you must understand what is the meaning of one one many one into and on to function i have taken seven eight examples i hope this thing is absolutely clear what is a into function what is a on to function what is a one one what is a many one next example is f1 is given to you 1, 1 2, 1 3, 1 now this first element in each bracket is the input second element in each bracket is the output now the question says that is this f1 a function now what's the basic definition of function says that each and every input should have a single output so input set is 1 2 3 4 and 5 this 5 will also be there the question says that is this a function on 1 2 3 4 and 
the five are the inputs. This is the input or domain set. You can say that output is one. You can see that this is the input. This first element in each bracket is input. The second element element is output. So two is input. One is again output. So can I say that this is connected like this? Now is this a function where each input gives one output? Is this a function? Yes, this is a core domain set. This is a function. Yes, this is a function because you can see that this def uh, satisfies the definition of function. Each and every input should have a single output. You can see that one input have single output one, two input has a single output one, three input has a single output one, four input has a single output one, and five input has also a single output one. So this satisfies the uh, this. Satisfies the definition of function. So this f1 is a function. Second example is f2 is given to you 1 comma 1 1 comma 2 1 comma 3. Uh, the question says that uh, is f2 a function? Now we can check this. This is the input set I'm making. This is the output set. This is the input. Input or you can say this first element is the input. So inputs are 1 and 2. Here are only two inputs we have. When a question says that is f2 a function on 1 2 it means that 1 and 2 are the input this is the core domain set output are uh, 1 comma 1 is connected output 1 2 3 4 5 6 these are the outputs so 1 is connected to 1 1 is connected to 2 1 is connected to 3 2 is connected to 4 2 is connected to 5 2 is connected to 6 now is this a function no this is not a function because the basic definition of function says that each and every input should have a single output here the input 2 input 2 have three outputs so this is not a function so this kind of questions can come so two type of questions can come in function either uh, in the form of this example 1 and 2 or the graph will be given to you and you need to tell uh, whether the graph is a function or it's an into function onto function many one function one one function many kind of question can come if your basic concept is clear you can solve all kind of questions so that was all about functions lesson 1 basic with example. In the next lesson I will continue with more on functions. Thank you.